Sup everyone, I'm your female Taku and I'm here to review episode 4 of Nidro Days. And some of you may be wondering, Sloan, I thought you were doing a live reaction to Nidro Days. What's with the review? For those of you who don't know what's going on around YouTube at the moment, if you guys don't know the Fine Bros, the Fine Brothers, uh, they're the ones who do kids react, YouTubers react, you know them. They made an announcement a couple of days ago about this thing called like React World and to a lot of people's misconception, people thought that the Fine Bros were taking over reaction videos as a whole and any reaction video that isn't affiliated with them will get shut down. And then yesterday, or earlier today, no, no, it was yesterday, they made a video being all like, no, 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 we don't, we don't own the reacting uh, community. It's okay, you guys can go ahead and do your thing. But now everyone's fighting with them and they're losing so many subscribers and just things are very hectic right now for reaction videos. So I'm just going to wait it out see if it's safe to do reactions because right now it's pretty hectic and I don't want to get into that mess all right but when the situation dies down let me know if you would like me to continue reviewing it or go back to live reactions okay so please let me know down in the comments okay so I really enjoyed this episode this episode put a smile on my face it did and it was all because of K, and he's probably now my favorite character. Yeah, K's my favorite character, okay? I had my suspicions that he was somewhat of a sadist or into like BDSM and stuff like that, and turns out he is. <laughs> That's so freaky. You don't expect that in a shoujo romance. Like, that was just freaky, man. Uh, it, it was the whip. The whip always made me keep an eye on him, okay? And, you know, he said that his ex-girlfriend is a 25-year-old teacher. <laughs> Just what he said about their relationship afterwards, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> this dude is crazy. But I like him, because you actually saw the struggles with him and uh, how, how he is, okay? Like, because a girl wants to confess to him and he openly admits that he's into BDSM and that freaks the girl out. So then he worries for the future if he'll ever find love. So that's pretty interesting because, you know, this happens to people all the time. Okay? And, you know, it's not like, say, may maybe you're not like, hey, and you're not into, like, BDSM and stuff like that. But, you know, some things happen, like, you know, when someone is... Uh, like gay or something or, or bi so these kind of things happen so I thought it was pretty cool that they brought up the somewhat situation with K and it kind of made it a little more real like the struggle for love <laughs> thought it was that was kind of cool and his buddies were trying to help him out and I really like K my favorite character K good luck to him and his path to high school romance and I really like Mari and the red hair guy's relationship, okay? Like, I still have mixed feelings about Mari because at some points I really do agree with her, but other points I find her really irritating. So it, I'm still flip-flop with her, but just their relationship is hilarious. Like, he, the red haired guy, he did the wall slam on her and he was all like, I'll kiss you again. But then she was all like, do it and I'll crush your balls. <laughs> I love this. Nitro Days is good. It's really good. I enjoy it a lot. Okay, so great episode. And when the situation dies dies down with the whole live reaction, like reaction community thing, let me know if you want me to continue doing the live reactions or you're fine with just reviews. Catch you tomorrow as I review Mr. Osamatsu and Akagami no Shira Yukihime Season 2. And now is your chance. Today's the last day to vote for your favorite romance anime. So hurry up. <laughs> I'm your female Taku. Sayonara.